He is known for inventing the atmospheric engine, the first practical fuel-burning engine in 1712. He is recognized for his efforts in improving methods to pump water out of flooded coal and tin mines. His name is Thomas Newcomen. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Thomas Newcomen, an English inventor whose contributions revolutionized the mining industry. Born in Dartmouth, England in 1664, Newcomen's journey began as an ironmonger, specializing in tools for the mining trade. However, it was his passion for solving the problem of flooding in coal and tin mines that led him to create a groundbreaking invention. During Newcomen's time, water flooding was a major issue in mines, hindering productivity and endangering workers. Determined to find a solution, Newcomen set out to design an engine that could effectively pump out the water. And in 1712, he achieved just that with his atmospheric engine, the first practical fuel-burning engine. The atmospheric engine utilized the power of steam to create a vacuum, allowing water to be drawn out of the mines. This invention marked a significant milestone in the field of engineering and mining, as it provided a reliable and efficient method to tackle the persistent problem of flooding. Newcomen's genius and ingenuity not only improved productivity in the mining industry but also laid the foundation for future advancements in steam engine technology. Thomas Newcomen's legacy as an inventor and problem solver continues to inspire generations. His atmospheric engine remains a testament to the power of innovation and its ability to transform industries. His contributions to the field of engineering serve as a reminder of the profound impact individuals can have on the course of scientific progress. Thomas Newcomen, a brilliant inventor from the early 18th century, made a groundbreaking discovery that would revolutionize the world, the steam engine. Drawing inspiration from the ideas of Thomas Savory and Dennis Papin, Newcomen developed a steam engine specifically designed for lifting water out of mines. Having likely crossed paths with Savory, who had previous experience with steam power devices, Newcomen was familiar with the limitations of Savory's fire engine. This thermic siphon used steam to create a vacuum, which in turn sucked water out of the mine. However, it was ineffective beyond a depth of 30 feet. Newcomen ingeniously improved upon Savory's design by replacing the receiving vessel with a cylinder containing a piston based on Papin's concept. Instead of relying on vacuum pressure to draw in water, Newcomen's steam engine utilized the downward motion of the piston to work a beam engine. This beam engine featured a large wooden beam that pivoted on a central fulcrum. On one side of the beam, a chain was connected to a pump at the mine's base. As the steam cylinder refilled with steam, preparing for the next power stroke, the pump cylinder drew in water and expelled it to the surface, driven by the weight of the machinery. Newcomen and his partner, John Calley, successfully built the first engine of this kind at the Conagree Coal Works near Dudley in the West Midlands. Today, a fully functioning replica of this groundbreaking engine can be admired at the nearby Black Country Living Museum. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.